How's it going everybody? Nick Pro. Now I'm doing something a little bit different on my main channel today. Now of course I'm doing a commentary which I'm trying to get back into the fold of doing commentaries. Uh, I used to really enjoy them and I still do to this day so I thought why not continue to do them. Now this is going to be a two part commentary. Now what I mean by that is that one of the videos in this commentary towards the subject is going to be on one channel which is the Clear Enemy YouTube channel that I am a director on. So uh, that's going to really be hopefully a boost to the channel. I really hope that I can give a little bit more love and I hope that you guys can give them some more love so i appreciate it if you guys would all subscribe to them if you haven't already and uh the other part of this commentary will be on my main channel which is the one that you see in front of you this is my second game of halo 5 guardians uh the first game that i ever played of halo 5 guardians is on the clear enemy channel so if you guys are interested in seeing how much i sucked and uh how much i experimented around and just you know what you basically will look like playing it the first time look at that channel and uh, enjoy the commentary in the background now anyways with this video of this part of the conversation i'm going to be speaking about what i'm planning on doing with the game what i hope to be doing with the game and i'm going to talk a little bit about the company uh 343 industries being that company so anyways halo 5 guardians as i said on the previous video on the clear enemy channel or you know the video that you're going to be seeing on the clear enemy channel if you haven't seen it yet is uh that the game is great uh the game has a lot of good things and it has a decent amount of bad things from the beta now uh, this is in no way shape size or form a review of the final product of the game i have not played the final product of the game i only have beta footage uh i'm very excited for the final release of this game now, subscribers, this is when you guys come in. Do you guys want to see a stream on my personal Twitch of this game when it comes out? Uh, I will probably do it on my personal Twitch because uh, we have a guy in uh, our clan that I really want to give, or our organization, I should say, that I really want to give the chance to stream this game to. Uh, he is Oshima. Uh, I'm going to give him a little bit of love in the description. He's going to a Halo tournament uh, in uh, Florida in about 14 days, or 13 days, I should say. So we're going to juice him up a little bit, guys. Show us some love. Show him the Clear Enemy channel some love. So uh, I'm going to give him the opportunity, hopefully, to be streaming on the MLG.TV channel, Halo 5 Guardians. But uh, do you guys want to see me play this game when it comes out on twitch.tv backslash pro reborn? So anyways, we're gonna talk a little bit about Halo 5 Guardians and uh, or I should say Halo 5. Uh, oh my god Twitch.tv backslash pro reborn official my apologies. So anyways, we're gonna talk about a little bit about my plans of this game This game is really nice and of course I really like it and I want to stream it a little more uh, I really want to get in depth on it a little more. I want to play it a little bit and uh, I'm excited for the game now, the only thing that I'm not excited about, of course, is the company that made it. Uh, 343 Industries being that company. Halo 4 was a very, very, very controversial game in the Halo 4 community, or the Halo community in general. Uh, a lot of people disliked it, a lot of people liked it. Uh, I liked it and uh, disliked it at the same time. Uh, I think it did have a lot of shortfalls, but I think at the same time it was a very good game. And... Uh, I wouldn't call... Uh, that's a little bit of a stretch actually coming out of my mouth. I wouldn't say it's a very good game, but in some instances, it really was a step in the right direction for Halo. That being sprinting and uh, faster paced gameplay is something that Halo 4 went into. Now with Halo 5 Guardians, what I'm starting to see with 343 Industries is a little bit of something that I don't like, and that's these uh, little microtransactions that don't belong in video games, you know? The, uh, you know, that, you know... Nobody likes... Uh, see, this is where I want to sit. Nobody likes them. Nobody likes them at all. You know, I'm just going to blatantly say it. Nobody likes microtransactions, and I really hope that doesn't screw up Halo 5 Guardians, because I'm excited for this game. This game is coming out very, very soon. We got 13 days for this game to come out, and I better not see Halo 5 Guardians be ruined by microtransactions. Uh, I know right now that the Warzone game mode, I believe it's called Warzone, is coming out, and uh, that is going to be a very big game mode. I am so excited for that game mode. If you guys do not know what it is, go and head over to IGN or look it up, because it is great. It looks gorgeous, it is on massive maps, it has a PvP and a PvE aspect, taking away some gameplay variants from not only Destiny, but Titanfall, and combining it with an MMO experience that you will never forget. And uh, I have to say, just looking at it, I am hyped to shit about it. That Warzone game mode might just be one of the best game modes to hit the Halo franchise in a very long time. 
And the reason why I say that is you will see it is a lot of players on a server playing against each other with enemy controlled AI and friendly controlled AI on the map. Or I think it's all enemy controlled, it's all grunts, yeah my bad. It's all grunts and stuff on the map. So it is a very interesting game mode and it's a very good change to the Halo franchise, which I really do want to see. Now, my worry when it comes to Halo 5 Guardians, of course, is that Microsoft is going to take their hands and 343 Industry is going to take their hands, their, their pretty little hands and turn this into a money-making machine and what I mean by that is that they're not gonna want just their $60 after we buy the game and our $40, $50 on the season pass they're gonna want us to buy every camo in the game and they might come out with pay-to-win weapons now I've noticed they come out with a little bit of packs for the game now I do not know too much about those but I do know that they unlock like skins for the game and it's supposed to be like some promo but I really hope it doesn't go past that I really hope there is no like unlock packs to the point where you get weapons in uh the Warzone game mode earlier than other players to put you in an advantage or anything because that's when the game would start breaking. Uh, I've noticed that that seems to be a lot of uh, video games models now is that if you spend money you uh, basically pay to win. Advanced Warfare, a video coming up about that, really fucked that up. Uh, and uh, in my last video I did talk about how supply drops were a scam but uh, Advanced Warfare is taking that to a whole new level and it's turning into a pay to win game and people are not noticing that and I really hope that that marketing schematic really does not make it onto Halo because that turned from a prototype to a regular in the gaming community and throughout gaming developers and publishers and they really like doing this now and I do not want to see Halo 5 turn into that. So anyways guys, really in reality it's just a matter of waiting. Halo 5 Guardians is going to be a really controversial game I can see it coming I feel like there's gonna be a very heavy amount of people that love it and a very few amount of people that hate it but I want to see what the final release of the game is gonna be as long as the single player is great then I'm gonna consider it a great Halo game because that's what I love about my Halo games is the campaign experience so anyways guys thank you guys for watching appreciate it all thank you guys for all the love and uh, everything don't forget to subscribe to clear enemies channel and don't forget to subscribe to Oshima the man of Halo so anyways guys, I will see y'all later, and uh, bye guys, this has been Nick, our uh, pro, so uh, thank you guys all for coming.